So for today's movie review, I'm reviewing a movie called The Bermuda Depths, a TV made movie made by both Rankin Bass and a Japanese movie studio. Now, who's Rankin Bass, you ask? They're basically known for three things. One, they're known for the stop motion TV Christmas specials that ABC plays year round. Second, they're known for their animated features such as The Last Unicorn, The Flight of the Dragons, and the dreaded King and I animated movie. And third, they've been known to work with Japanese movie studios to make movies such as King Kong Escapes, The Ivory Ape, The Last Dinosaur, even though that movie had more than one dinosaur in it, and this movie. And from what I can gather, this movie is pretty obscure because not only has it not been played on TV since its original air date, but also finding a DVD copy of it seems impossible to find as well. So, was it worth a dive into the deep depths of this movie to watch it? So, the plot of The Bermuda Depths, it's essentially about this college dropout orphan who decides to return home after so many years to investigate the, what happened to his father. And strange things have been happening since he's had various encounters with a brunette swimmer along with people having sightings of a gigantic sea turtle. In terms of what I liked about the depths, I like the overall atmosphere of the movie because it's very relaxing. Because well, they spent most of their time at the beach, so I was kind of relaxed by it. The cinematography is decent, the lighting's pretty good, and I did like the soundtrack. Much like the atmosphere, it's very calm and s smoothing. And I do like how the movie's more of a ghost story than like a, your typical monster film. In terms of what I disliked about the movie, I thought all the characters and actors didn't really do that good of a job, with the exception of Apollo Creed's character and the lead female. Like, I thought they were okay, but everyone else just sucked. And the movie is not what I was expecting it to be. Like, what I was expecting out of the movie was, okay, you have this cast of characters go on some kind of cruise that happens to be the Bermuda, and they have various encounters with various ghosts and giant sea monsters. And yeah, we do have a ghost and a sea monster, but not enough. And also, the poster fucking lied to us. Because if you look at the poster, you have this... The main character defending the woman from the giant sea turtle. And, like, that never happens in the movie. And also, the sea turtle itself on the poster, it's not a sea turtle. It's just a regular turtle. So, in a way, false advertising. Also, the special effects for a turtle... Like, when a turtle is above surface, it doesn't look too bad. But when it's swimming below the surface, it looks terrible. And there's some plot points that just never made sense to me because at one point you learn the backstory of the ghost and she's a woman from like the late 1700s. She dies at sea and the main character at one point has a flashback when he was little and is seen playing with this little girl who turns out to be the ghost. And like nothing makes sense because when you figure, learn the backstory of the ghost, she's an adult. But when you see the flashback with the main character playing with the female ghost as a kid. She's about the same age as the kid. Then when he, the kid cares, main character is an adult, she's an adult too. So she kind of goes through this thing of looking like an adult, turning into a kid, being an adult again. It just didn't make any sense. So for my final verdict of the Bermuda Depths, with the exception of Apollo Creed's character and the overall atmosphere of the movie, you're not really missing much. Like I had high hopes for this one. I really did. But you can just skip it. For all I care. And before I give my final rating, what did everyone else have to say about the Bermuda Depths? Looks like not too many people liked it. And so for my final rating of the Bermuda Depths, I give it 2 out of 5. What's your favorite ghost story? See you later.